Hey guys, today we're back with, well, we're not back. <laughs> we're um, actually here for the first time with the um, Rodeo Stampede. And I've been playing this game a lot because it's very fun and addicting. But the reason why, oh hey, sweet, look at that. But uh, the reason why I'm playing it today is because they have a new update. And they have like tons of new junk. They have sales because of course, gotta have the money. But yeah, they, um, this one comes with not just hats and animals, but also decorations that you can add to your park and your enclosures. And I, since I only started playing it like last year, I don't really have anything in the games, which is why all of this is new to me, really. So we're going to get all of the new animals, and we're going to show them off. Here we have the regular reindeer. Nothing special about it, but that's what makes it special. <laughs> in its own way. I think it looks very nice as far as deers go. I like the design. It looks a bit like a regular deer, like there's nothing very discernible about it being a reindeer. But, I mean, that's just a nitpick, like who cares. But I want to know where these pictures are going. Next up is Dancer, and Dancer is very, very cute. Different um, horn style, which is, uh, she's adorable. She reminds me of um, Dot from Animaniacs, but I like the, the bell is very cute. And the dress, let's not go back there. <laughs> we don't need to see some deer coochie. Next up we have Prancer, who is covered in a very nice flower floral pattern and has um, flower cufflinks, I guess, which <laughs> kind of remind me of Animal Jam. This game reminds me of Animal Jam too much. I should stop playing. Which one I should stop playing? That is up for debate. But um, it's very cute. Different antlers and it's greenish at the top because, you know, Prancer, he's got, uh, she's got, um, they have, um, flowers but yeah very very cute next up is vixen who has a um king's robe maybe reminds me of king Dedede, and has painted their antlers apparently to be um a kind of pinkish which is very cute and it's got like ankle warmers i don't know leg warmers but yeah, this is a very nice looking, very regal looking deer. Next up is Cupid, who um, has the signature Cupid's wings. I don't know if you can fly though, who knows? And it's got uh, hearts on it. Oh, its antlers are shaped like hearts too, that's adorable. It's got little hearts dangling from its antlers and a heart shaped metal on its thing. Oh, it also has a cutie mark, because you know, why not? Kind of reminds me of a white-tailed deer, but I think they're all white-tailed deer, even though they should be reindeer. But that's besides the point. Next up is Dasher. He's a very dashing-looking deer with a different type of antler. I can see in the back it has the regular type of antlers. Unfortunate, but at least he's got cool shades and a neckerchief. That makes up for it. Next up is Blitzen with uh, lightning bolts and lightning bolt antlers and also lightning bolt, um, what what do you call it? Um, choker, I guess. The deers have chokers. Amazing. But this is a very sick looking um, reindeer. It reminds me of a Pokemon. Just any, it just, it's, it's really cool. Very, very epic. Next up is Donner, who has the same type of um, play style as a moose, and he is very, very cool. He's got um, <laughs> some kind of Yoshi shell and a very cool choker with a tree on it. And to get a better angle, oh, pitchforks, and to get a banger, uh, better angle, we're going to have him bang into something. So now that we've crashed into a tree and have um, the remnants of leaves everywhere, we can see it better. Very cool deer. He's got his shades, his deer shades. But yeah, 
epic deer. Here we have the next deer up, Comet, who I can just, I can relate the most with. He also has the moose animations. And works by um, charging into stuff once and then has to recharge. So now that we've charged into something, I love, 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 love this deer so much. I love the stars. I love the scarf. I love the horns. It just, it kind of looks like my character. But I, I love this kind of, you know, design. It just, it resonates with me. This deer is amazing. Comet is probably my favorite reindeer. But I don't know if that's saying much, really. Last but certainly not least, in the slightest, we have the man, the myth, the deer, the legend himself, Rudolph, who also has, a, who's making a mad dash for it, because that's his power. He just runs very quickly and then slowly slows down. So we're going to try to get a better angle of him. There we go. <laughs> T-posing deer. He's literally levitating to assert his dominance. Incredible. But we see Rudolph with his typical red nose. <laughs> Facing the front is way funnier. He has a decorated antler and um, strings between his antlers, which remind me kind of of the Rudolph in training. So who knows, maybe the moose is trying to take over his spot as king of all reindeers. He also has a Yoshi-like shell, which is a saddle, and um, his a medal because he is the best at what he does, and probably Santa gave that to him. But yeah, these deers are great, and they're a great um, addition to the game. If anything, I wish that you could actually tame them and maybe have them as part of your zoo, or just a scrapbook to see all the pictures that you take of them, because where do these pictures even go? First up on the list, we have Santa's Big Helper, and um, it's a pretty nice design. Like uh, the ears, you know, the hat. It looks like Santa, and um, I think the trunk is meant to be a candy cane. When it's curled, it's more obvious. And um, it's peeing all over the place, just everywhere, just pee, just all the way, just gross this next one is Santa Claus which is a pun because you know he's got claws let's see if we can get a picture of him oh wow apparently he instantly just dies upon you know that and there he is Santa just as rectangular as ever Oh, he wants to give you a hug. How very cute. And here's a regular picture of him. Very, very chunky cat. Our next Christmas animal is the giraffe mystery, which works the same as the regular giraffe, except that it's adorable. Like, look at that. It's a giraffe in a sweater. That's literally the cutest thing ever. And its orange has been replaced with a very nice red. And <laughs> you can't really ignore the giant Christmas tree that it seems that it's stuck its face in and now cannot escape from. Life is pain. Next up is our reindeer in training, who, uh, <laughs> according to the description, found himself a costume by running headfirst into a Christmas tree. And um, that's pretty obvious. We'll try to get a picture of him charging. Here's him at full force, about to go into another Christmas tree. Look how happy he is. We can only presume. 
That was getting a bit too close there on the angle. But yeah. Okay, gamers, welcome back to the final part of this Christmas special. And, um, I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to finish this video because once I had literally only three decorations left to get, um, the Garden, Olympus, and Jurassic, I, <laughs> the game, I reset the cache on, um, the app, and for some reason I lost subscriptions and I lost KT Plays, and I lost my Christmas event, and I lost the this, and I lost the that. I could still go to the menu, but I couldn't, you know, access it from the thing. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho, first decoration. We're gonna go through it um, by with the cages first. This is the Savannah one. Here we have the default. Which is, it's alright, you know, it's cool, we have a mansion, Buffalo Mansion. <laughs> but here we have um, the Savannah Xmas one, and that's pretty cool, I like the, I like the colors. You know, the, the hedge, or at least I think it's a hedge because it's green, with the candy canes and um, stuff. are like a jungle and here we have a neat little cottage uh, cottage cheese <laughs> cottage cheese okay that's fine 
but yeah, it's a very nice, homey, housey hut. And again, same for all of them. I mean, you can't exactly expect for them to do um, special things for every single animal because this is Yoda 1 we're talking about. Effort is not in the company name and ideas. They have a very cool um, triangle hut, and I like that. What's the default one? Oh, that. Yeah, I think it would have been cooler if they got, um, if all the default ones were given their own special houses. The winter one goes well because it's wintery, so it's already got that kind of stuff in there. But, um, it uses the, what's it called, savannah uh, fences. And the house is a little Christian cut on it, that's cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I think it would have been better if for default ones, like all the animals had their own huts. Like for Tundra, their huts can be like an igloo or something. Maybe for Outback, they'd have like a windmill, jungle, ah, who knows, whatever. Oh, jungle could be like a temple, and then savannah could be, I don't know, mountains, who knows. But yeah, that's all of the um, Sky Zoo, so let's move on. Also, the breeding pen. I don't know if this is new, but it has like a dining table and candles <laughs> on the bath with two glasses of wine. That's amazing. Wait, that's not right. This one. Now we are in the Sky Zoo, and we are going all the way to the beginning. And we have our Jurassic Habitat. Now, I don't have these um, upgraded to their full thing, because... That's a lot of effort. Basically, this is the Jurassic Hut that shares the same fence as the jungle. I think it carries on from the last one because previously, the last one in Tundra had a savanna fence, but this one I guess has the jungle fence. And there, they have a similar, you know, humble, very nice cottage. It's a bit smaller than the other ones, which is ironic considering they're dinosaurs, but you know, whatever. Still very, very fancy and fun. It's like a decorated doghouse. This one's cool. The Olympus one. Uh, they have the savanna fence and a gingerbread house. Which is, I love that. I love that so much. So, so, so cool. Here we have the garden and they have the jungle fence. We already know that at this point. It's alternating, so whatever. And they have a, they have a house. And I want to see something. Is the house? No, it's not the same house as the one in the garden. But it's still very nice. It's a very humble house. Basically, I don't have any max animals, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be another mansion. But yeah, this is pretty gamer. It's got little two little Christmas huts, in, uh, not huts, <laughs> Christmas trees on the side, and um, well, there's uh, decorations on it, and it's very brightly colored. So there's that. I love these little guys. Pangolins are so cute. Dance for me, pangolin. <laughs> Next up is the return to the Sky Zoo with the, instead of, you know, just chairs, but boring. Uh, the first gift that you are given on the Xmas gift day tree, but whatever, who knows, is the Grand Xmas tree, which is very, very impressive and <laughs> literally the best centerpiece decoration ever. Like, it's miles better than whatever the hell this is. The other one is the Saki Sleigh, which, nothing against the Saki Sleigh, I guess it's cool that the snow covers the whole thing, I wish it did that with the Christmas tree, but the Christmas tree is just way better. And for the sides, you have D 
default, which is just boring ass crates, or alternatively, uh, snowmen, which are given as the day three gift. Just, you know, snowmen, whatever. They're cool. And then the reindeers. I think I would prefer the reindeers, but they're both facing the same direction, which is really annoying when the snowmen aren't. So I don't know how they managed to mess that up, but the snowmen are better because of that specifically. Here we have the default one, which is crates, and then this says get for free, so I guess the tiny Christmas trees, but that's a later day. So the welcome trees are supposedly given as the day five gift, uh, I don't know, because I tried time, I lost the event for like so long, and I, um, I just, uh, blah 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 words. This is bothering me. I lost the event for so long, and when I did get it back, it just poopy kaka poo pooed on all over me. And when I finally did get the event back, I was still only on day three for some reason. Even when I try to time skip. Um, the next one, Chachabulala, is the Gingerbread Man. Which costs something, I guess. I don't know how much. But it's very cool. I like these. I have a connection with Gingerbread Man. That's a whole long story for another day. Well, it's just there to show. Snowy Xmas trees. Ah, where is the Snowy Xmas trees? Over here, yes? Over down by the front. Ta 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 ta. Oh, welcome trees apply to the whole thing. That's very cool. Or maybe it's a different kind of welcome tree. We can check. Oh, okay. Welcome trees for the front are different things, and you get them on day seven. I'm using the wiki to check because I don't have access to it. And I won't for a few days. And I'm not waiting a few more days to make this video. I'm running out of content. Please, someone send help. <laughs> Anyways, here's the um, the default one is nothing because we're stupid dum dums, and then you have the snowy Xmas trees, which are very very cool. Here's your default gate, and then there's also this one, the Xmas gate. Jahim. Anyways, um, I'm guessing there's only ten days of. Right, I think there is only ten days. Ten, and then ten days of Christmas. My true love gave to me. It's twelve. I'm dumb. Anyways. I guess they didn't have enough to give us 12 days of gifts. Oh, 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 oh. Anyways, <laughs> uh, there's this kind of gate, which is suave, very suave, but not so suave enough like this one. Woo, woo, woo. This cool Xmas gate, get out of here. This cool Xmas gate. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. But yeah. Uh, sorry if you can hear birds. This was recorded on my final day of bird sitting and lovely lovely things truly Let's change it up a little bit. I want to be Who do I want to be? I want to be snowman Ah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> as I was saying as I'm trying to say anyways Stop, no. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you for uh, watching to the end, if you're still here. Thank you for everything, really. Um, my Rodeo Stampede videos do pretty well, actually. Maybe I should drop a Bistrium World. I was just kidding. I would never, because I play that game for fun. And I'm only going to do event stuff, because like, who wants to watch a Let's Play of this? I can't make these into 10-minute videos. Or maybe I can... Just kidding. Thank you so much for watching me. Um, much love to everybody in the world. I love everyone. And um, and uh, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe comment if you want. You don't have to comment. That's not important. Maybe subscribe a little bit. I don't know. Just a tiny subscription. You know, it's free. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> oh, for the love of God, stop screaming. Goodbye.